Yo, what's shaking everybody? Welcome to 2017. But before you get into the second day of the new year, you might want to stop and update that copyright information on your cameras. And if you're a Lightroom user, update it in Lightroom as well. I sent out a tweet a little while ago and it was just a friendly reminder to people that they should do that copyright information update. And a friend of mine on Facebook, uh, Mr. Dean Davis, was kind enough to suggest that maybe I put together a vlog post or a video for everyone. And you know what? Great idea, Dean. <laughs> so here I am, last minute, last few hours of the first day of the new year, and I'm trying to crank out this video for you guys. Uh, it's a really simple process. I'm going to be doing it on the EM1 Mark II but the process is identical on all of the other Olympus cameras, like the uh, pens and the other OMDs. The only difference is the menu structure looks just a little bit different, uh, but again, super easy to do. And I'm working in Adobe Lightroom CC. If you're a standalone Lightroom user, don't worry about it. The process is exactly the same in the standalone versions as well. So before we get too far into 2017, Let's jump over here and get these uh, these profiles updated. Uh, thanks again for watching all these videos, you guys. I know you're subscribing, right? You need to subscribe. I need you to subscribe. I'm needy like that. Uh, see you guys sometime later in 2017. See hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, so here we are in Lightroom. I'm working in Lightroom CC. If you're in a standalone version of Lightroom, the process is identical, so don't worry about it. Uh, when you're in Lightroom, you need to be in the library module, not in the develop module. Uh, as you can see, library is highlighted. That's where I'm at, and that's where we're going to be working. On the right-hand side, you've got uh, different drop-down panes. We are currently on the pane titled Metadata. And um, you can see just to the left of where it says Metadata, there is a drop-down menu. I am on EXIF. And for some reason, it closed on me. Let me open that back up. There we go. And you can see the second drop down we have here. It says preset. Currently, it says none. Um, this is where we're going to add a preset for metadata. And you just click the drop down. You can see currently I have one title 2016 copyright. And I keep, I keep that for a little while into the new year just because I might go back and process some images from last year and I'm going to want to make sure that I have that metadata embedded into the images when I upload them. Uh, and you can see that I've also got one for 2017 that I made first thing this morning. I, that is uh, one of those things that I don't ever forget anymore. Um, so we're gonna go to edit presets and we get this new little box that pops up titled edit metadata presets. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Um, and the top drop down here says we're on custom. But you can see I've got my other two right here. So don't worry about that quite yet. So up here in the top where it says copy name, you can name it whatever you want to name it. Um, I generally name, as you can see, based on the year. But we'll just call this test meta. And then down here for the caption, I always put the, um, the copyright tagline here in this caption box because... When I shoot images out and they go to, um, we'll say Flickr or someplace like that, you'll see sometimes when people uh, upload images, there is text immediately underneath those that say Olympus Digital Camera. And if you're wondering how to get rid of that so it doesn't show that every single time you upload an image to Flickr, and I think Facebook might even do that, um, you want to change this caption line is what you want to change. If you change this caption line, when you export an image out and then you upload it to Flickr or Facebook, you won't have, say, Olympus Digital Camera. It'll actually have your copyright tagline in there. So throw that in there. And again, I'm just going to put test whatever here. Um, for camera info, um, I don't work in that box at all. And for the IPTC content, I don't have anything in there as well. I think that this is going to be somebody who's working in the press, if I'm not mistaken. And this is something somebody in a different field of work could probably elaborate on that I'm not even going to begin to touch. So, But under the IPTC copyright dropdown, this is where I start populating information. Um, in the copyright line, pretty straightforward. The copyright symbol, the current year's date, and your signature. 
Um, if you're not sure how to do the copyright symbol on the Mac, it's option G, the letter G. I don't know why it wouldn't be option C like copyright, but it's not. It's option G. And you can see there that I just typed in option G and it threw in the, uh, the copyright symbol. And uh, copyright status, copyrighted. And in Rice's rights, I did this every time I've tried to record this so far, which is this is my third time. <laughs> rights, usage, terms, in all caps, I always put all rights reserved. That's just what I do. And you can see that I'm actually putting um, a checkbox in each one of these boxes where I want something to appear, okay? Uh, if you don't put a check mark in the box, it does not end up in the metadata. So, and then copyright info URL. If you've got your copyright online, you can link directly to that there. The next uh, block that you can start filling information in is in the IPTC creator box. And there is where you will put your name. And for some reason, I've got a space in my name. There we go. Uh, I put my name, my address. I put all my information pretty much except for my phone number. I, I just don't want to deal with my phone number being out any more than it needs to be in the uh, world of the internet. And that's it. That's as far as I go with this. And once you're done, you know, you can just hit done and it's going to say save the changes as a new preset. Sure enough, we're going to save it as test and then just hit create. And that's it. That's as simple as it can possibly get. You're done at that point. So with that being said, we've created a new um, a new copyright preset here in uh, Lightroom. And uh, if you shot some today or if you're watching this, you know, two days after the new year or a week after the new year and you want to go back and apply your copyright correctly to the images you already shot this year, it's again super easy. All we would do is um, open up your library, go to your collection or folder, however you're storing your images, um, and basically just hit Command A to choose them all. Again, working in the library while we're doing this, <clears throat> go down to the metadata box on the right here. I'm going to select 2016 copyright because that's a uh, that's when these were all shot and I get this little pop-up box that says apply metadata preset and asks if you want to apply it to all of the selected photos or only the active one because I had initially had one photo selected when I had this open I want to apply it to all of the selected images so I just hit all selected in the upper left hand corner we can see our progress bar going because it's chugging along applying the uh, the metadata information to 2,502 images from this wedding that I uh, shot or second shot with another person. Um, so that's it, you guys. I'm going to close out this screen share and I'm going to jump over to showing you how to do this on your Olympus camera. All right. So sit tight and let me get rocking and rolling on that for you guys while this reapplies the exact same presets that they already had on them. I'll see you in a minute. All right, you guys, let's do this. Let's get your OMD or pen camera set up with the current copyright. We're going to navigate to our menu. Uh, I'm on the OMD EM1 Mark II. Your menu might look a little different. We navigate down to the gears menu and you start scrolling down. I know the menus can get a little deep, but it's fun to dig into them. We're going to roll down until you run into copyright settings on the OMD EM1 Mark II. It is menu H1. So once we've located copyright settings, we will scroll down and highlight that. Once it is highlighted, you can either push the OK button on your camera or arrow over to the right to enter them. Copyright info is the top option. Make sure that is turned on because we want your copyright info in your EXIF data. Next, we will go to your artist name. And this, of course, is where you're going to enter your name. So get into that menu and key in your name. Just so you know, navigating through all these little keys can be sped up by using the control dials on your camera. The front control dial scrolls side to side horizontally, the rear dial up and down. As you select the letters of your name, you hit the OK button on the directional pad on the back of your camera to enter them. 
and as soon as you have your name spelled out arrow over to end and hit OK next we go down to copyright name and in the copyright name you're going to enter in the current year I already have 2017 set up in mine but I'll actually erase all of this out and just retype it in for you to delete the current entries you can see down at the bottom of the screen there it says delete and it shows the trash can little icon you just use the uh, delete button on the back of your camera and you can go through and delete out all of those current entries and like I said I'm just gonna roll back through here and I'm going to go ahead and enter back in 2017 overshot it a little bit there there we go and then again you go down to end and hit OK and then hit OK again to get back out of there and that's pretty much it you guys there's not a whole lot to this it's really simple to get this set up and once it's set up it's set up and you're good to go for the rest of the year and it is at this point in time that I think you should probably stop and uh, take a moment to put a reminder in your Google calendars or your Apple calendar iCal whatever you're using set a reminder for next year on 2018 January 1st at like we'll say 12 o'clock noon plenty of time to wake up from a potential hangover maybe uh, put that reminder in there so that you will not forget to update your copyright info next year uh, thanks again you guys for watching I, I truly appreciate everyone's input on these videos and I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to putting together more videos for you guys later on this year take care and happy shooting